and we're back to Mass Effect 2. Chipping ever away at a galaxy that doesn't want to be saved. The elusive man Hello. To speak to you in the I'm Fluff. Ran in dark, ignoring the elusive man. Because fuck That's that guy. Usual. I actually decided I'm going to take the helmet off for this next mission because it just makes something that goes down during the mission funnier. I can lose a little bit of health for exchange for hilarity. So then, let's head right on back down to... Shut up. God damn it. Okay, I guess I don't get a choice. That Kasumi uh, okay. is an addition to the crew. I can see why she's good at her work. She never reveals anything meaningful about herself. It's all on the surface. It'll be a challenge getting to know who she really is. Anyway, what's up? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need to. You're a little late for that, haven't you? Okay. Yeah, like, I don't know why she even pulled me into that conversation. Anyway. Fine, what do you want, elusive man? Passing the elusive man through, Commander. Hello, Asshole. Shepard, we got a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Coral system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the Collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a Collector ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous, but we can't let an opportunity like this slip by. If they had a patrol up there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmission. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. You're close enough that you can be in and out before the Turians learn the truth. Are you sure this information is good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. Send mm -hmm. me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Coordinates punched in. Let's go find us a collector ship. Okay, well we were going to go down to Tachunka, but I guess we have a change in plans. So it would seem. Uh, whatever. Considering what we're going to be fighting in there. Hmm. Dali? No, she actually won't be that helpful here. Oh. Then grunt. The grunt might be helpful. And direct combat. Uh, person. Uh, would would all would well grunt's direct combat. We don't have that. Hmm. Could, could bring our master thief. Hmm. Biotics would probably be more helpful. So someone like uh, Thane, Jacob, Miranda, or Samara. Jack. Jack. Yeah, Jack would work. Jack it is. Let's see, what do I want to put points into? What does it say about the meta then? Constantly, constantly putting Grunt and Jack together. The two most psychotic uh, people on the crew, why not? I might be a bit of a matchmaker sometimes. That is not a match I would ever want to see made. I don't even want to exactly. think about how that would work. Upgrade my adrenaline rush. Hey, my chest are not necessarily romantic. Wait, what did I just do? No, I don't want to do that. There we go. I'm bad. <coughs> go ahead and grab that. <laughs> Yeah, everything else is... Mm, no. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> we have a visual on the collector ship, Commander. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? I'm guessing the EMP. Oh, I wish I kept my helmet on. Radar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no mass effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck. Yeah, they probably used, used some kind of EMP. Well, there is Turian debris in the area. You probably didn't spot it, spot it, but... I did not even... I saw some wreckage floating around and I recognized it as Turian. So clearly... Did this game have it? I was just looking at the image. And the fact that every race's ships are rather distinct. Fair enough, I suppose. That's some... Um, interesting ship structure. Very... Hive-like. I mean, have you seen what they look like? Yes, I did. <laughs> Never seen a ship like this before. Looks like a giant insect hive. Penetrating scans have detected an access node to uplink with collector data banks. Marking location to your heart suit computer. But then we get in another grave mine. Front. There you go. I love how Jack doesn't even need a full face helmet. She just needs a breather. Look, her armor is her horizon. Maybe the defense tower softened it for the Turians. Maybe the missing humans are on it. Unless they're dead. So this is a ship we saw. A while ago. Hmm. The same containers as on Horizon. Only these are empty. Small, like my tank. Bet they begged for mercy. Hmm. What a mess. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't pretty. Indeed. Lots of dead meat. Probably tests. If this was the control group, they wouldn't need them when the experiment was done. There are worse things than death, like being a test subject for twisted aliens. Dead is dead. There's no such thing as a good way to go. Whatever. Dead is dead. You know, I've always found it funny that Grunt's uh, helmet does that. It actually has a moving mouthpiece. Hmm. No other Krogan helmet does that. Well, he's also not like any other Krogan. That is true. Hello, money. Hello, free credits. And, oh, look, dead collectors. We didn't kill you. Hmm. What? The collectors carved one of their own. Edie, I'm uploading the data from this terminal. See if you can figure out what they were up to. Data received. Analyzing. The collectors were running baseline genetic comparisons between their species and humanity. Are they looking for similarities? I have no hypothesis on their motivations. All I have are the preliminary results. Strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure, the Protheans. My god. The Protheans didn't vanish. They're just working for the Reapers now. These are no longer Prothean Shepherd. Their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic rewrite. The Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. 
And that looks nothing like those statues we saw on Ilos. Mm -hmm. Talk about um, radical restructuring. That's how it would be. Somebody would have picked up on this. No one has had an opportunity to study a collector genetic code in this detail. I've already matched 2,000 alleles to recorded fragments. This collector likely descends from a Prothean colony in the Styx Theta cluster. But there are signs of extreme. That's precise. Yeah. Fewer chromosomes. Reduced heterochromatin structure. Elimination of superfluous junk sequences. The Reapers didn't wipe out the Protheans. They turned you them into monsters and enslaved them. One. No. Still. They're working for the Reapers now. Nope. And we have to stop. Oh. No shit. I'm not letting the Reapers turn me into some kind of fucked up bug thing. Let's find what we need before the collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. Hey, guns. <laughs> uh, decisions, decisions. That would obviously be yours. <laughs> Without a thought. No shit. Accurate and deadly anti-material rifle. Effective against armor, shields, and biotic barriers. Upgrades the Viper Sniper Rifle. Weighing in at 39 kilograms, the Widow anti-material rifle is primarily used by sniper teams in assault missions against armored vehicles or Krogan. Well, <laughs> against uh, tanks or Krogan. <laughs> While kinetic barriers offer effective protection, protection on vehicles, the kind generated by conventional military field generators are far too weak against the Widow. The Widow was never designed to be carried and fired by a human. Out of this modified model can be carried, no ordinary human could fire it without shattering an arm. Fortunately, well, Shepard's, you know. Shepard's not ordinary. Yep. This is basically the same kind of deal, except for it's in the shotgun form. It's got s so much kick, it would shatter a human's arm. Yeah, I would definitely pick the... <laughs> I guess I'll go with the Revenant. Hmm. Daka Daka, motherfuckers. Can you get the other state Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, certain characters like Grunt, after his loyalty mission, can unlock the Claymore for himself. Well, it's something. Yeah. Eh, I don't need to worry about that. Find Izo, I'll take some of that. On the ceiling. More of those weird pods. Hundreds. How many are full? Too many. I detect no signs of life in the pods, Shepard. It is probable the victims inside died when the ship lost primary power. Can only hope. <laughs> Better than whatever other fate awaits them, right? Commander, you gotta hear this. On a hunch, I asked Heaney to run an analysis on this ship. I compared the EM profile against data recorded by the original Normandy two years ago. They are an exact match. The same ship dogging me for two years? Way beyond coincidence. Something doesn't add up, Commander. Watch your back. Suspicious. It's almost like this could be a trap. <laughs> oh come on, we knew it was gonna be a tough from the very beginning. Big. They couldn't fill all those pods even if they took every colonist in the terminus. They're going to hit Earth. Not if we stop them. that one out yourself, big guy. Edie, I'm setting up a bridge between you and the collector ship. See if you can get anything useful from the databanks. Data mine in progress, Shepard. Uh, 
That can't be good. Did the game interrupt you before you go down? What just happened? Major power surge. Everything went through. Did you just answer so yeah. fast then? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Saw that coming a mile away. You are right. <laughs> Just a little dazed, probably. Hey, look! Collectors! Finally, something to shoot at. Why am I using the image shotgun? Of Grom, the image of Grom helping Jacob kind of amuses me. <laughs> That's a scion. That's gonna be a pain in my ass. Damn, when did I get that hurt? Uh, shortly after your shields went down. Harbinger of Destiny, huh? Doing a real good job there, Harbinger. You don't say your Destiny. Another Scion. The fact that she's actually a competition that is impressive. She was made for cyber warfare. Yeah. You know, walking into a stream of automatic fire probably wasn't your best bet, Harbinger. Hmm. I wonder if we can upgrade Eevee at some point. Shepherd, you must manually or if there's any other useful upgrades of the ship. Oh well. Well, that could have gone better. Eh, it went well enough. We're not dead. Exactly. I've regained control of the platform, Shepard. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Edie. I always work at optimal capacity. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. I have also found a Turing distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The collectors were the source. It is unusual. Seems logical to me that they would have sent the initial message as bait. No, it is unusual because Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? We don't have time to throw blame around. We'll question him when we're up. I knew Cerberus would screw me again. I'm gonna crush his head. Uh, Commander, we got another problem. The collector ship is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move. Time to hurry up. Yeah, just a bit. Time for more loot. Yeah. Also, like, there's always time to shoot at something.
Not the power I meant to use, but it'll do. Yeah. And it helps you, Swan Knight. Yeah. Hey, I'm not that kind of gear. Really? Because I seem to be doing a pretty good job of it. I'm sure we'll eventually find the one that's controlling dogs. Yeah, I didn't put a bullet in his head. Or, you know, a missile, uh, a few rounds, a, a boot. Yes, we will indeed put a boot in his head. I mean, there might not be much head left afterward. Eh, why not be this? Shut the fuck up. I'll put them down. I'm done. Yeah, it's the same thing. I still would have taken the Widow, but it is pretty good. Yeah, the downside of the Widow is it has one shot for it, it has to be like, I think. Really? But if you hit... Yeah. Especially if it's a headshot. Yeah, it, so it, you know. It does, so it does you know, suit my playstyle. Yeah, it suits your playstyle much more because you don't need sustained fire. Sustained fire works for me. Casually, you know, the firefight. I tend to be a very strong advocate of the glass cannon gameplay. Usually, it's a sneaky glass cannon advocate. Still some more. Where are they? There they are. Oh, abominations. Did you like husks when they exploded? Uh, so that's what they are. I mean, like, you don't need to be tough if the enemy never gets to shoot at you. Probably wouldn't work so well, so well in mass ability, so it's, you know. Yeah, there really isn't any stealth in mass effect. Yeah. Well, you know, there is a reason why, why you're the one playing this. That reason is origin, but that's besides the point. <laughs> eh. I'll just grab all of that. Thank you. Come on. Start running. Maybe someday I'll actually go back to all the Skyrim and let you quote unquote enjoy my true style gameplay of crouch walking for a long, long time. <sighs> Just thinking about that bothers me. I'm opening a door on the far side of the room. Yeah. Us. Praetorian! Do it. It's pretty big. It's not the first one we fought. Mm -hmm. It's still pretty big. Yeah, right on your ass! Hey, Morgan. You know, tempting as it might be, I don't consider Praetorian worth using the heavy the cane. Oh, and I kind of wanted to see. Oh, don't worry, you will. Yeah, I'm sure you will. But if I don't consider this thing that can basically one hit kill you. Worth using makes you got makes you wonder what I consider worth using. Right. And do you feel on the same thing? I normally only care for uh, places I haven't been to before. And hmm, I don't remember do most of the first time in Skyrim. Uh, sometimes. Fair enough. This is about to get ugly. Whoa! Well, it, um, but ugly. What was that? Ugly. Right. Okay. Praetorian. DB, the sounds kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Hmm. No. 
not what I wanted to do, but okay. It's something. Do you have something to like make better ammo? Uh, actually, incendiary ammo is better against armor, but it just raised barriers, which is why I switched to disruptor ammo. And now I can't swap so, back because I used barrier. Ah, okay. Yeah, barrier is kind of important. I'm about to do it again. Not what I intended to do, but it'll work. And do it a lot. God, I love having barrier. To keep it that way. God, I love having barrier. Right? That's a lot of fireworks. The fact that it's just ignoring them for me is helpful. Yeah. My attacks then work. That's the better in these nights. Grab some ammo. I have to get you the line. Yeah. I'll keep it open as long as I can. <laughs> and no, I still do not consider that worth using the cane. Okay, hey, down there. Look, guns! Can we just jump down? Sh shame we can't just jump down there and grab them. Oh, right. Take damage. That sounds useful. Do you stay, right? No, I don't. Huh. Huh. That would be power. Oh, you did in the first game. Yeah. Sometimes I still forget that you need to change places. Yep. Yeah, right on your ass. Assuming control. As if Harbinger could get any deeper. <laughs> yeah. As convenient as it is, you can the surprise me that you can just change classes. Yeah. One side is convenient, and the other side doesn't make any sense. Uh, some of them, it's not that bad. Especially Mass Effect, Mass Effect 1 to Mass Effect 2. Um, since Shepard's been completely rebuilt. Yeah, I guess that's fair. But even then, um... Going from anything that's not biotic to biotic doesn't make any sense in universe since you know. Yeah. And it's not like completely rebuilding would just change his experiences and knowledge and stuff. Well, yeah, and I mean. <laughs> okay, Joker. We're working on it! Die. I don't think Shotgun is... Okay, now they're being kind of effective. Yeah, when I actually hit, hit off the rest of the spread, it's actually useful. Yeah. So I think the other guns were being more effective against hit. Did you just explode? Try and hit it with a concussion shot. Okay, so they're more effective ones when you actually hit. We're out of time, Commander. We have to go. And we should really manage to grab those weapons. Of course not. No time. It's time to go. Like you can actually see the ship over his shoulder. Right. We can't dodge this guy forever. He can get us the hell out of here. Specify a destination, Mr. Anywhere that's not here. 
Uh, I mean, yeah. Yes, but I know how bad I can do that. Gathered vital intel regarding collectors and Omega 4 relay. With Shepard's escape, Harbinger knows our true capabilities and will have to adopt new tactics. We'll have to be careful as Harbinger's information network may rival Cerberus or Shadow Brokers. Also, it appears impossible to block his ability to possess minions. Edie's work was exceptional, however, proving the value of Shackled AI. Shackled AI, huh? Yeah, never. she's got sh programming blocks controlling her, keeping her from doing whatever the hell she wants. No shit. Like, what the fuck? Whose side are you on, motherfucker? Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Edie told us the distress call originated from the collectors. You betrayed us, just like I knew you would. We're at war. The Collectors are taking humans, and every minute we waste is one more we give the enemy to prepare. I know the stakes, but we're supposed to be on the same side, and I can't trust you. Without that information, we don't reach the Collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trial, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. You could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you sure try hard to get me killed. I needed the Collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. I don't risk people. There are always alternatives. You may not like being on the receiving end, neither would I. But the facts are with me. As much as we try to avoid them, these decisions need to be made. But more importantly, it paid off. Edie confirmed our suspicions. Mm. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that, that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I'm guessing you have a plan. We have a science team working on a derelict Reaper right now. I need you to go and pick up its IFF. Where did you find a derelict Reaper? An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. You remember that? One of the plants we could see in the first game? A very old oh, yeah. mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. Aren't brown dwarfs basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. Oh, so your history's all off there. 37 million years ago was most definitely not the era of the dawn of mammals. I don't remember exactly when it was, but uh, he's wrong on that. Yeah. <laughs> Another derelict ship. Yeah, let's see how this one goes. I get the feeling this isn't going to be a simple swing by and pick up our package. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. Now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie. Tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. <coughs> Asshole. Mm. 
So they Those sides the fall out of me. Could have fooled me. The point. Lied to us. Used us. Needed access to the collector data banks. Necessary risk. There really wasn't like any it. other choice. Let's just hope this IFF works. My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. What? Right in the middle of a star? That can't be right. The middle of the galaxy. I Oh, oh. So the yeah, star of all stars. <laughs> the Collector homeworld is located somewhere in the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction. Space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. The Collectors are just servants of our real enemy. And we've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays on the Citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later, we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. She's right. Mm -hmm. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. We still have loyalty missions to do, after all. Yeah, I am so kind of annoyed because, like, assemble the whole crew and it's like just those three. I mean, to be fair, this isn't exactly a big room. Yeah, but it's big enough to fit everyone. <laughs> At least yeah. everyone in the party. In the, yeah, the team, it'll fit the team. Yeah. I think I've almost got enough. Still need to cram a little more in there. I think I'll upgrade a barrier. Yeah, I mean, Whew. it did just save you. Save me several times over. Yeah, that's too. <laughs> Alright, so next time we can actually go and get back to, you know, doing loyalty mission stuff. Side questing! God, I hate the fucking elusive man. I agree. Anyway, we'll see y'all next time.